Uh, as TL said, if you don't know me, my name is David, and this is my testimony. So, by all worldly standards, I grew up, I had a really good childhood. Every opportunity I could have wanted, I had access to. Grew up upper middle class, just outside of Columbus, in a suburb called Hilliard. Um, while I didn't really follow God too closely, he always kept me and my family safe. Both my parents were born and raised in Lebanon, from the Middle East, uh, and as such, I grew up Maronite, which is the Middle Eastern sect of Catholicism. My faith pretty much was limited to church every Sunday, 5 p.m., go in, get out, come home, and that's it for the week. Um, outside of church, we would host family friend gatherings, but outside of that, really not much access to Christianity throughout my elementary, middle school, and high school years. I had the same group of friends, middle school through high school, uh, and none of them were really believers. Their lifestyles quickly rubbed off on mine, and I didn't really follow the Lord at all. Senior year, uh, right at the beginning, I started dating a girl. Um, I ended up following her to UC, believe it or not. Now, at the time, my parents didn't understand that at all, because my whole life I grew up thinking, I'm going to be a Buckeye. I'm going to go to OSU, going to graduate from there, commute from home all four years, it's going to be great. Uh, God had other plans for me. I get to UC. Um, in the beginning of my sophomore year, I really, really start getting close to two guys named Sothvik and Kaden, who many of you know. I met them through Spikeball, and through them I got involved in Young Life. I started going to a Bible study with my good friend Nate Roser, um, and I got thrown into Romans for my first time reading the Bible. Uh, safe to say that was a trial by fire. But um, throughout that fall uh, and even into spring of this year was a, an understanding, a growth and development, realizing that I'm living a double life and that I'm not really following God at all. Uh, the crux of my faith came in February when my girlfriend and I ended up breaking up. It was a relationship of three and a half years, and that ended up turning into the worst month of my life, feeling new emotions I'd never experienced before, pain, turmoil. I didn't really understand it. Uh, all the faith that I felt like I had been building came crashing down in a sense, and I was praying to God all the time, God, please help me understand. Please show me yourself. Please prevent me. Um, from doing the same things, making the same mistakes. And everything changed uh, one evening. The week before Young Life's spring break trip, I got a text from Caden Barr saying, hey, we have a discount code left. Do you want to come? I said, you know what? This is what I need. I think this is going to help me greatly. What God pre um, presented me that week was just an absolutely incredible opportunity to spend the entire time not thinking of my life, not thinking of my ex-girlfriend, not thinking of school, not thinking of anything but him. Uh, that helped me understand that real life comes through Jesus, real life comes through God, and that week will forever be one of the most memorable weeks of my life. On the very last night, they gave us 20 minutes to go walk around on the beach, no technology, not really talking to anybody else, just time to ourselves. Uh, I spent those first 15 minutes or so just praying, praying to God, allowing Him to help me process my emotions, process my pain, my experience, uh, just asking Him, you know, why I felt the way that I did for so long, uh, but also thanking Him for all the opportunities that He had given me and allowing me to come on this trip. Uh, after that, I kind of just stared at the ocean for a while, um, and I, I looked out at the water. The water of the sky was all pitch black, um, but every time a wave crept up on the shore, uh, a streak of white would appear, and we were going through John in our Bible study at the time, and I made the connection between lightness and darkness. I just looked up at the sky. I said, God or Jesus, whatever you want me to call you, just know that I'm going to try. Now, at that moment, God answered my prayers for a sign, because not a second after that, they blew the air horn for all of us to come back. And I knew that that was my sign, that was my time that I needed to commit. I had to give myself up to Jesus fully. And so I did. Now I live my life with an entirely new purpose. It's not just about me anymore. I don't live for myself. I don't live for my grades. I don't live for my performance. I live for God. I live for truth. God presented me with an opportunity to move into a Young Life house for the first time this year so I could stick closer to community. Um, safe to say, it's been quite a ride 
It's been pretty crazy. The brand new basketball size hole in the wall is a testament to that. Um, but I wouldn't change anything about it. God has thrown me into a new period of life that I am forever thankful for and I could never replace. Thank you. David, it's my responsibility to ask, who is Lord over your life? Jesus Christ. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, and raised to walk. <laughs>